the snake has no ears but people think the snake has got ears usually we see in cinemas that the villains attract the snakes by playing nadaswara and bring them to their place and try to kill them in fact the snake has no ears but by careful observation of the body of a snake it is proved that there are no ears to the snake but if you make any sound or play a musical instrument the sound waves travel in the air and touch the ears and reach the brain and then brain confirms the sounds through waves and make them hear but here in the case of a snake there are no ears then how it hears and confirms the sounds but by careful observation it is confirmed that half of the work of the ear the skin of the snake will accomplish this is highly proved by the scientists the second thing is while we are walking we may observe a snake appear before us immediately we have to be like a statue without moving and making any noise the snake calmly goes away from us if otherwise we move and make noise with fear our sound and movement will travel in the air and is felt by the skin of that snake and with fear the snake bites us the snake has this facility from its head to its tail as a proverb goes on we say if anyone has grasped the low sounds are released by others we call him the man with the snake ears but the snake has no ears at all third thing is if nadaswara played before the snake the snake appears dancing to the music by moving its head or hood this side and that side but what is the reason by a careful observation the reply is not only the nadaswara if you move any piece of stick and even our hand it gives the same reaction in fact what is in your hand the snake does not know its skin grasps the sounds and movements it nods its head this side and that side but not according to the nadaswara alone here we presume and misconception that the snake likes music and moves its head or hood by way of dancing it's only our presumption fourthly what is the need for a snake to move its head or its hood in fact the snake fear complexion if anything appears before it it is afraid that the thing before it may ride over it and do some harm for this reason only the snake carefully observes and responds to the thing before it and for its self protection only it nods its head or hood fifthly this whole action of the snake is only for self protection only but not for any other cause sixthly we think the snake has got a special taste for music and by hearing nadaswara even from a long distance and ready to sacrifice its life thereby reaching that spot is only a humbug and absurd this is all our presumption and misconception and superstition moreover the snake consumes only solid things and cannot consume liquids its brain is so small having less grasping capacity with all these minus factors weaknesses yet we attribute so many superstitions to the snake and get ourselves scared and afraid of it so we request our co-fellow men 
human beings not at all afraid and fearful attitude towards the snake and leave away all misconceptions and misunderstandings and try to assimilate and increase scientific understanding finally we offer this article for the brave and bold society leaving away all the misunderstandings and the misconceptions and the superstitions attributed to the snake by calling the snake as snake god thank you